Hello YouTube, this is Charter Yu-Gi-Oh! here with my top 32 discless quilliforts. Um, I referred to it as budget quilliforts for most of the day because I was unable to acquire a quilliford disc before playing this deck. Um, Robbie Cole called it a ghetto ass build because I, it, it's, you'll just have to see us. Alright, I made top 32, got 17th place, and have my invite, which is great because I can finally take Ghost Tricks back to a regional. But anyway, I play 3 Scout, 2 Shell. Shell is my main boss monster because I don't have discs, so I have to play 2 of this. 3 Carrier. Carrier is my favorite one. Mo bouncing a monster is a lot better than popping a, spe a spell or trap because most things are chainable. Uh, I only play 1 Helix. I would recommend bumping this to 2 for the mirror and just because there were situations when I wanted it. I only play one Odd Eyes because it's really slow and I hate opening more than one of them. And then one Trampolinx because it you don't really need it, it's just nice to have. And search World well Odd Eyes. Three Summoner Art, three Sacrifice, three Pot of Duality. You have to get to your scout and you'll notice a theme here. Three Summoner's Art, three Duality, three Upstart, and I play at one Laser Quip because this being able to double summon opens up a lot of combos unless you remove threats with carrier and helix Shield. I played two chalice um, I would have played three but it was just space issues and this card is just really great you activate and damage step target your own its attack goes plus 400 plus its original attack so if it's a shell it goes to 32 or if it's a disc not a disc disc would also go to 32 but if it's a shell, it goes to 32, or if it's a helix or a carrier, it goes to 28. Either way, it puts really big beaters on the board. Or you can use it, if you're attacking into a Shadal, you can negate the effect like that. Or you can just generally negate effects. I played two MST. Uh, I cited these out almost every time because most of the removal that I saw was chainable. So this was just really useless to have, but I'm just accustomed to having to have MST. I'm probably going to cut these. And then I played limiter removal. Because, like I said, I'm not playing discs, and I don't can't really recover the or create advantage the way builds with disc do. So I just wanted to inflict a lot of damage, and it's really good in the mirror because you can just beat over their guys. And getting this thing on a normal summon shell and attacking for over ten thousand damage is really really fun. Um, three reckless greed. Again, I have to get to my scouts. And since I'm not playing disc, this was just another way to create advantage. Three trap stun, since I'm basing around OTKs. Um, I don't like seeing a lot of back row. Only two skill drain, because it's not that it's not fantastic against shit alls, it's decent against them. It's terrible against Burning Abyss. And it's really, really bad in the mirror. Uh, two D Prison. These were my secret texts, not really secret texts, but my text for this regional here because as soon as people see that I'm playing Quilliforts, they're saving all of their back row removal for my scouts and my scales. So my back row is usually pretty safe from blind MSTs and that sort of thing. And it banishes Shadals when they attack me and it's really great in the mirror because again they can't go back to the extra deck and it's just non-destroying removal. And then I played a Compulse for the, mostly for the Shadal matchup and it was fantastic against Shadals. I ended up siding it out against pretty much anything else. So that is the main deck. I do not own Vanities, and I do not own, let's go start with the side, and I do not own Cool 4 Disc. So like I said, budget. Um, the MVPs of my side deck, uh, three Stormforth and two Majesty's Fiend. I sided these in almost every game too. Like if I won and I knew I was gonna go second, then opening both of these against a Shadal or a Burning Abyss, I just tribute their Shadal summon Majesty's Fiend, and then they can't get to any of their monster effects, so they can bring a f bring out a construct to just beat over it, but they have to go ridiculously minus to do it, and then I have the 2D person and the Compulse to deal with that threat, so this just completely shuts down Shadals, and there was a Burning Abyss guy who didn't know why I cited this in, because he asked me why, because he played so much chainable removal, why I would side these in against him, and then he ended up not seeing his removal, or I had the trap stuns, either way. Um, the third MST and the third Chalice, just in case I wanted them. Two Spell Shatterings for the Mirror. You always play Spell Shattering when you're playing Quill Forts instead of Fairy Wind. I think Fairy Wind is generally better, 
but you have to play this one because it only destroys your opponents. Um, two, Climate Change. Um, you have to decide this in for games two or three because you're going to be seeing a lot of spell and trap removal. And if they pop all of your scouts, you have to have a way to get them back. You just have to have a way to get your pendulums back. And there are people using either this or Rescue Hamster. And I liked this because it doesn't take a summon. And I think you'll have an easier time getting a chainable trap off than you will a monster effect. But that's just my preference. Um, two Mind Crush for Burning Abyss and for the Mirror. Um, didn't use these a whole lot. I mean, I was gl I, I don't know. I don't know. They might be good against the Mirror, but... I only played one mirror, um, and then a soul drain, and the third skill drain. Um, I played against two Shadals, I beat two Shadals, I beat two Burning Abyss, and I beat one Gear Gaia, and then one 6am. The 6am guy was my last round when I was 5-2, um, so I have no idea how 6 Sam's got that high, but it, that was, I was really glad they hit an easy matchup for my last one because I was, like, stressed as hell. Because if I didn't win that one, then that was it. And then I lost to a Quillifort Mirror. He had Disc, and he was just able to OTK faster than I was. And then I lost to Reversal Quiz OTK, which is just a BS deck. Like, I just sat there and watched him play with himself for, like, 20 minutes, and then he just wins out of nowhere. But anyway, I got top 32 at the Garden City Regional. At Trotter Pandemonium. Yu Gi Oh! By any chance, what do you extra deck? Oh, all right. Um, <laughs> uh, a bunch of rank fours. Like, it's not really important you're going to them. And then a couple of rank eights. I left this one on the bottom to confuse people. I mean, I can get these in with Shell. The only extra deck monster I went into. The entire duel, the entire tournament was Abyss Dweller against the Reversal Quiz OTK. And I actually won game two because I did that. And then I ended up losing game three in time after I got that on the field. But really with this deck, I could extra deck Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. It doesn't matter. You don't need this. Like, seriously, you, you do not need this card. Oh, you might, you might, you don't need them. They're good, to have, they're good to have very situationally, but since I don't have disc, realistically, unless I'm playing against a troll deck like Reversal Quiz OTK, there's no way I'm going to get a rank 4 out. My monsters just don't sit around that long. Alright, so if you have any questions about my build or my matchups, post them in the comments down below. If you like the build and think it's great that such that I was just able to like derp people for 8 rounds... I, I thought it was absolutely hilarious, and no one really got salty about it. Uh, the 6 Sam guy did, but other than that, everyone else was pretty chill. And that was actually kind of nice, but like I said, if you have any comments, post them down below, thumb up this video, and peace out, YouTube.